we started our journey here in Americus, Georgia. And went out uh, Georgia 27 to Vianna, uh, through Hawkinsville, uh, over to Chester, Dexter. Then we went up to Dudley and came into Dublin from that way and finished up our journey here in East Dublin. Hello everyone, this is Hubert from Traveling with Hubert. Recently, Kathy and I took a trip and we went through several small towns until we got to Dublin, Georgia. Our original plans were to do a tour, but we ran short of time, so we just did a drive-through on US 80. We hope you enjoy this video. If you do, give us a thumbs up. YouTube responds to that kind of interaction, as well as if you leave us a comment down in the comment section, uh, YouTube also pays attention to that interaction as well. Uh, if you've subscribed to the channel, we thank you, give you a big thank you for, for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, we invite you to do so. Uh, and hit that notification uh, bell if you want to be notified whenever we drop a new video, and we usually do that on Sunday mornings. Share this video with someone that you know that uh, likes to travel. Uh, might be interested in, in this particular travel video. And Kathy and I wish you have a very, very blessed day. We started our drive through here. And we came down US 80, Veterans Boulevard. Turned into Bellevue Avenue. Uh, after we go around a little circle where the courthouse is. Uh, it turns into East Jackson Street. Then once we cross the Flint River, it becomes Central Drive. And we head on out this way and we go out Savannah Avenue until we get to the edge of uh, East Dublin, Georgia. Storage sheds back there, huh? Mm -hmm. A lot of them, too. Got a mosquito pond. So Riley's right there. That's a Walmart over there, isn't it? Looks like it. Tractor Supply and Harbor Harbor Freight down that way. I see the sign, Walmart. Yes, big old Walmart at that. Well, we're in Dublin. We're going to do a drive through through it in East Dublin and head on over toward Adrian, Georgia. And I think after that, honey, I might be ready to go home. Well, you're driving to Adrian, or you want to use that another day? No, I'm going to Adrian, yes. Okay. Aldi. Yeah, they got Aldi. One of those small ones. Those A small Verizon ones. store. And an orange light. Yellow light. This has grown up out this way. It used, didn't used to be anything out this way. Got an end market up. Yes. Got an end market. Looks like it's new. Mid-state pools and spas and the Ford Place. It used to be on the other, the Ford Place used to be on the other side of Dublin. We're gonna go right by that side. Pizza Hut, a Zaxby's, Accordia Urgent Care and Family Practice, Waffle House up here. I thought all the Golden Corrals had gone out of business. Are you too? Well, is that one open? Yes. Looks like it's fairly new. Don't know, it didn't say they got an Arby's. Little Caesars. A Nissan place up here. There's your firehouse though. Yeah, firehouse. There's your circle K if you need any gas. Not right now.
shopping center down in there, and I can't see what all was down in there. Dairy Queen, Advanced Auto Parts, Chevrolet Place. We miss that. This used to be the Dublin shop. Mall. I guess it still is. It's got a sign. Yes. Mags. Mags. And a belt, big old belt store. Applebee's. It's grown over here, yeah, hasn't it? Has. Got a Wendy's. Up here on the right is a, the uh, Veterans Hospital, VA Hospital. Chick fil A, Walgreens. There's a bank. Carl Vinson Medical Center. Captain D's. That one's been there for ages. I guess it's still open. Home Depot. Dunkin' Donuts. What is that over there? That's the Carl Vinson Veterans Medical Center for Veterans. Oh, okay. It's huge. Looks huge. VA Hospital Drive right here. Available there. It looks like Didn't seem place. to be. Another shopping center thing, strip mall, whatever you call it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they got a lot over here. A lot more than we got. And the population's about the same. I think Dublin has a little over 16,000 people. Isn't that amazing to you how one place about the same population and another place has nothing? Right. But I suspect that big old huge medical center back there has a lot to do with it. Yeah. You know, when you have good paying jobs, uh, and, and they there, there are other businesses, we're not going through that part of town. There's a lot of little shopping areas. Yes. Crystal up here, KFC. Crystal, they don't even have water, any area outside that front. Yeah, sure it's do. It's so hot right now, but it cools off. And we're on US 80, but it, the name of it is Veterans Boulevard, so things sure have changed. That's mm -hmm. what happens when you stay gone for 50 years, huh? Are we in are we in East or West? That, no, this is Dublin. Is this is Dublin. This is the west side of Dublin, but this is Dublin, Georgia, yes. I mean this is the west. I thought you were telling me one time that East Dublin is not there it'd be in. East You're Dublin's a separate city altogether. Oh it is? Yes. Okay. I've never heard anybody. I thought you just meant as direction wise. No. East Dublin and that's no, 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 no. There, there's actually a, a town called East Dublin. I didn't know that. Didn't the two are separated by the Oconee River. We, you'll see that in just a little bit. Bubba's Tire Center. It's been Bubba's Tire Center for as long as I can remember. You're going to see some pretty... Look at that. Yeah. Uh, big old houses down in the... This, this is big house rule if you want to use that term. I guess they're still here. There's a big old house. I guess it's a house. Nope, Chamber of Commerce. They probably made, there's one that they've turned into a general dentist, dentistry. One of these houses, big old white house with columns on the front, unless it's been torn down. On the right was the Lovett House. There's a big old house. It's a library, I think. Bed and breakfast. That's it, right there. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Uh, 
his grandson was at Bruton Parker College with me, and one of the things we had to do was uh, we were in speech class together, and we had to give a speech on what we'd do if somebody gave us fifty thousand dollars. This is back in the sixties, late sixties. You know, fifty thousand dollars, you you just you were just rich. I can still remember him saying, I know exactly what I'd do. I'd buy me a race car. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I don't even remember. Presbyterian Church. Play a pig the wing over here. Yes. Yeah, I didn't know this Yeah, this is the First Baptist Church, I think. Yep. Uh, the Martin Theater, of course, it's just the. It's it has a different name now. It's not the Martin Theater, but when I was here, it was the Martin Theater. That's what and I this build, this red building, uh -huh. I think, was the Carnegie Library. And it's it's uh, an event place now. That's a bank. Look at yes. that fancy bank. Yes. And this is beautiful downtown Dublin, Georgia. Wow. It's a, nice it's a funeral home there. Jackson Square. This is all changed. It's the dominoes on the internet. Yes. Some other little shops. It's cute little downtown, isn't it? Yes, it is. Kind of reminds me of Thomasville a little bit. Yeah, it does. Used to be a McClellan's dime store right here on the corner, and the building right across on the left was the um, uh, Belt Matthew store. Uh, federal Court, Lawrence County Courthouse, and the one on the other side, on the back side, is the Federal Courthouse. They have a Federal Courthouse here. This one right here. And then this was all businesses out this way when I was growing up. It still is, mostly. Well, it's a cute town. Yes. Yes. Yeah. One day when we don't do a lot of other little videos, we'll just come over and make a bigger video of Dublin. Well, I think last time we were up here, we didn't really ride through that downtown. No, we didn't. We, we turned... There, there, there's a bypass that we turned on to the left and went around town, yes. This gray building that has sign company on it mm -hmm. used to be the super duper restaurant. I stayed open 24 7. Dudley Funeral Home, that's a black funeral home. That's African American old, funeral home. Older area down yeah. Here. Uh, the Dairy Queen started out as just a little ice cream shop and then it became a Brazier. Mm -hmm. uh, Ford Place used to be right here. Bowling Alley was that back behind the Ford Place. Okay, we're at the city limits. Herschel Lovett Bridge. That big white house, that was his house. The city limits to what? East Dublin? The East Dublin's coming up. I thought it was just saying, like, you know how they no. do East Macon, North Macon? East St. Louis, yeah, oh, no, that's that's not it. This was always the working area of town. They had uh, the woolen mill out here. They had a carpet mill out here. Uh, There's another kind of mill. You turn to the right of this red light to go out past those. So you actually have an address as yeah. East Dublin, Georgia? Yes, yes. See, I just thought it was the east side of town. Yeah. And this has all changed. This looks nothing like it did when I was... Of course, I worked over at the woolen mill for a long time. While I was working. it looks better or worse? Yeah, it lo it, it, oh, it, it looks more like a place now than it did. A lot of the buildings back then were just 
like I said, uh, garages. I mean, that, there, there wasn't any bit real shops or anything. It was just uh, well, the, the trailer parks, been, the trailer place has been there for a long time. I uh, like this, this that building, mm -hmm. uh, this other brick building. Uh, Thomas's Auto Supply has been there. That's that's not the same building, but this building has been there for a long time. Uh, most of this is new stuff. All of this is uh, it's, it's not new now, but from when I was coming over here, it's new. Llama Restaurant, which is not a restaurant anymore. Home of a show enough burger. That burger was as big as you played. Say East Dublin Plaza. Okay, didn't we go down that road? Yeah, that goes to, to Wrightsville, yes. That's, that's you know, when um, I guess Doris was buried, we came back and ate here with Margaret Ann at the we, uh, yeah. at the Waffle House or the Huddle House, one of those. After the internment. That, out that way is mostly just uh, residential. Mm -hmm. uh, Shamrock Honda, it's been, I can remember when they put it in still going strong. City Hall. City Hall used to be across the road from where we turned, right there where we turned. Mm -hmm. This all used to be, like I said, uh, like the Dublin alternator and radiator. It was all shops like that. Uh, somewhere right in here was the theater, drive-in theater. That place back there with the concrete blocks where it's always been here. Um, the, that place has been here, but it was under a different name. Then you get this little residential area right here. Mm -hmm. And uh, church, East Dublin. It's a Day Spring Worship Center now. It used to be the Baptist Church, I think. And these houses and another garage, and that was about it. Like I said, East Dublin was the working working class folks, you know. Nothing fancy in this area. Uh, some kind of pro uh, feed processing plant. It, it has an odor about it. And then you've got the trailer park. It's been there a long time and it shows. Is that what I... That's what you smell. Say it's or something? No, there's some kind of food processing, food feed processing plant. And I think that's going to do it for this video.